So I recently finished Outer Wilds, and it was such a beautiful game that I thought I'd uh, just turn on the camera and talk a bit, sort of reflect about how amazing I thought this game was. You know, when I first started, I remember actually, why did I get this game in the first place? I first heard about it from uh, Spilla on YouTube. Uh, it's pretty, I think, uh, well known as a game reviewer or a whatever you want to call him. But um, his views and mine sort of align on a lot of things. Maybe 90% or 85% of the stuff that he likes, uh, I actually end up liking. And so he's sort of a trusted opinion when it comes to video games for me. And so I watched one video of his one year, and he said that The Outer Wilds was his game of the year. And I was like, hmm, I've never heard of this game before. So how come he says it's his favorite game of the entire year, you know? And I told myself, okay, I guess I'll buy it on sale. Uh, I actually don't play a lot of first-person view games. I, I tend to like games that are uh, third-person. For example, believe it or not, as uh, as big of a you know uh, single-player game uh, single-player game player that I am, um, I still haven't played uh, Skyrim. Credentials removed, right? But um, but yeah, because it's for, I know it's got like a third person, but I don't know, I just... It's sort of like it just flew by me. And uh, although they release it on every single console that gets made, uh, I still haven't played it because I feel like, uh, you know, there's a lot for me to play. And the hype has died down so much that nobody cares, but I'll probably get to it at some point. But back to the Outer Wilds, I just... Um, I haven't been a a person who plays a lot of first-person games, right? I mean, I play some shooters, but that's back in my heyday when I used to have some uh, reasonable reaction times, right? Now I've grown older and the reaction speed has gotten slower, so... So, yeah. Uh, right, so I hear about this game and it goes on sale one time, but I, I think I emailed the developers or their support and I asked, I said, um, is the PlayStation 5 update out yet? Because I didn't want to play it at 30 FPS. And they said they were working on it and it's still not out. So I decided to just get it once the uh, PS5 upgrade update uh, came out. And that's what I did. So I bought the game. And then after uh, playing a bunch of games, I was like, you know what? I want to try this. I feel like it's time. So I fire up the Outer Wilds, and lo and behold, so... Well, first of all, when the game started, I'm like... Okay, so what's this game about? You aren't truly really given a lot of instructions. Uh, like, okay, you can fly uh, in your uh, spacesuit, and uh, there's this spaceship, right? Uh, that you can fly to other uh, objects in space. But um, at first, I'm like, you know, I I'm just not getting it. I mean, I play, uh, I have, I had been uh, playing Subnautica and I put that on hold for a while because I got busy with, uh, with things in my life. And I forgot the controls and stuff. And I was like, if I'm gonna jump back into that, I I'm gonna have to like, maybe start over or remember what the hell I was doing or how I, how I was doing it uh, and I was enjoying Subnautica that's another game in a similar vein perhaps uh, you know explorative and, uh, it's all about the exploration so I start the outer wilds and little by little I find myself you know it, it gave me these feelings that I'd never felt before uh, for example I play for hours at a time many hours you know <laughs> I think there was one day I played for like eight hours straight, and uh, 
and I just couldn't have enough. Um, it fulfills that desire to explore so greatly. It's absolutely unique. You know, there's this... I'm not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> no, I'm laughing because I read a Reddit comment uh, saying something along the lines of uh, this is the best game that you just can't speak of. <laughs> and I feel like it's like the community as a whole seems to have decided to just spoiler tag everything they say about the game. But uh, so that's why I'm talking about my feelings about it rather than uh, what kind of game it is. I mean, I did say that you can, you know, you can fly in a spacesuit, and I said that you can go to different objects in space, but that's pretty much uh, all you can see from their own trailer, right? But yeah, um, I'd finish my gameplay se session, and then, like, later that night, or even the following day, I'm just thinking, I'm planning about, I'm planning where I want to go, and what I want to do next time I play the game. And I'm thinking like... I'm thinking about things that are happening in the game. And it's just... Like, my mind is totally... Not totally, but it's usually preoccupied by the game, even when I'm not playing it. And I didn't feel bored, ever, uh, while playing it, which is a, a, such a great sign that... Uh, it's such a good game. So, I love this game so much that after I finished playing it, I couldn't stop telling everybody I knew play the Afterwives. So much so that I changed my Discord uh, about me, you know, description box thing. I just wrote play the Outer Wilds. Uh, or is it Outer Wilds without the, I suppose. But yeah. Um, it's such a phenomenal game. Um, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I think everybody should try this game. There's another game that I love that I think is not everybody's cup of tea, and that is Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium or Elysium? At any rate, uh, yeah, that game is stupidly good as well uh, but that game i mean i get that it's not everybody's cup of tea because there's a lot of text and a, a lot of dialogue right and uh, some people are just impatient and so they don't really care about that sort of thing but um, this game is different i think in that um it's probably good for a wider audience, in my opinion. And this called Elysium. I think. Because... You know, there's more to control there. At least, at the very least, there's more to press, more to control in the game. As opposed to Disco Elysium, which is a point-and-click game. And, I mean, honestly, I don't know why I played that. I, I think it was another recommendation by Skillup. And, uh, you know, the last point-and-click game I played was maybe back in the 90s or early 2000s. Uh, back when I was a child. But um, I just absolutely loved Disco Elysium. Similarly, I couldn't stop playing it and it was... It, uh, by the way, the game is hilarious. It's so funny. It's incredibly funny. Okay. Uh, I remember I played in 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 our in my living room, and my family would be nearby looking at me. You know, I'd be wearing my headphones, and my family would be looking at me like, "What is wrong with this guy?" And they'd look at the TV, and it's just like the text, right? And there's the narrator who's reading the text or the voice actors, who did a a brilliant job voice acting that guy, and uh, it's just so amazingly funny. Uh, I wish I could forget. Had, I wish I could forget what I know about both games and play them all over again, because uh, that first playthrough, there's nothing quite like it. And uh, yeah, play Outer Wilds with its expansion that I'm about to actually play, and also play Disco Elysium, the director's cut.
I think that's the only version you can find now, the one with the voice acting, but yeah, play those games.